New at noon, the third annual Starkville Stride Challenge is set to begin, and we're so delighted to have with us Hunter Harrington to tell yes. us all about it. How are you, Miss Hunter? Thank you so much for having me today. And you know what? Thank you so much yes, for Yes, it's driving. a beautiful day today and a, <laughs> a, a beautiful day to be excited about the Starkville Stride. That's right. So. And thank you for driving all the way up here Absolutely, from absolutely. So for one, tell us about Starkville Stride. How did this come about? So this came about three years ago. It was kind of in the middle of COVID. And so we wanted to do, find an activity for the community to do, um, to still be together, to stay active, to get healthy. And so this kind of, this, my brainchild came up with this and we created it and it's been going strong for three years. So every year it has grown. Mm -hmm. so, so now this year, when, it, when does the challenge begin? It starts March 1st and it goes until April 14th. And tell us a little bit about the challenge. What is it that you're challenging folks to do? Yes, yeah, so we're challenging people based on steps. So what the goal is, is to see how many steps you can walk, run, you could do aerobics, any kind of activity. You're just trying to see how many steps you can get for six weeks. And so what you do, if you go to www.startville.org, there's a tab that says Startville Stride. You click on Startville Stride, you fill out all the fields, and then you'll get a kickback email that gets you into the Move spring app so what we've done is we've partnered with move spring and mm -hmm. move spring pairs with your device so it could be an Apple device it could be an Android device and this tracks all of your movement and this is a team's challenge so there are there's a small team division there's a medium-sized division and a large team division and so it averages the amount of steps um, per person for that team now does it matter where you are in regards to your physical or, or rather your athleticism when not it comes at to all not at all we encourage all who are just wanting to focus on getting healthy and mm -hmm. staying active to participate um, last year we had about 600 participants and so this year we're hoping to have 700 participants and so I've seen people um, you know have success stories to just tell me it really helps me to just keep track of what all I'm doing because you know you don't notice how much you are sitting around maybe it your desk at work and it just helps you uh, keep motivated and keep trying and to get more steps. We try to encourage those to get 10,000 steps a day, which is about five miles. Wow, I was going to so, say that's kind of hard, but yes. yeah, I understand that. Why is it important for you all to keep the Starkville community uh, motivated, fit, and healthy? Well, you know, being healthy just helps all areas of your life. It helps you at work. It helps you at home. And so, um, yeah, we just, the partnership who I work for, the Chamber of Commerce, we promote be, being healthy, staying active. And so that in turn just keeps the community fruitful and help, healthy. All right, so. then. Well, thank you so much, Sarah yes, Hunter Harrington, so for much. joining us this afternoon. I really afternoon. appreciate it. And, uh, we appreciate you being here with us. Thank